What makes the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre one of the best? What made it work? And why has it been so hard for any other movie to recreate what made it work? It set the standard for the slasher genre. The silent mass killer, although I personally don't think Leatherface counts. He does talk in gibberish, just not any actual language. It makes plenty of sounds to communicate, basically. His hulking, mean, frightening physique became the standard of the slasher genre. In his own way, he is the beginning for the whole genre as we know it. It is the Black Christmas, nor the town of the dreaded sundown, but it's the first one to really get the kind of attention that set this sort of genre off on his feet. And I know it's not the first cannibal movie. It's certainly not the first exploitation movie. So again, what's the question today? What makes the Texas Chainsaw Massacre so special that it kept its place in history despite all the sequels that have gotten mixed reception since? To put the answer simply, everything about it. But I'm assuming you want a more detailed answer, so give me a sec. As all channels have to do to survive, I just wanted to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe as well as in that notification button. Help support the channel, help me motivate to make more videos, because this is one of the most fulfilling things in my life, and I've really loved the communication so far. My question for today is, if you've seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, what made it work so well to you? Comment that before you even watch the rest of the video, because I'd be really curious to see how many of the answers line up, or if it's different for everybody. Getting back on track though, I really do mean what I said. Everything worked. It is the perfect horror movie. But, well, what makes something the perfect horror movie? Because to get to the answer, we have to understand it. And we'll all probably have different answers to that most likely, though many will be similar. But for me, the movie that strongly evokes the strongest and most viscerally frightened reaction out of the viewer, the one that makes them question things about the world they live in, keeps them uneasy during the movie, have nightmares about it after dark, and really feel that horror feeling that really drives a human being, adrenaline-wise. The stuff that gives the genre its name. As for you guys, Guys, I bet there's a lot of movies that are popping up in your head right now instead of Texas Chainsaw Massacre because everyone has their movie that makes them think that. It's just that I personally think the Texas Chainsaw Massacre did it best. It may not be my personal favorite horror movie, I'm more of a Halloween guy myself, but I am fascinated with this movie and it feels like I always have been. My dad collected the merch, watched the movies, I couldn't even stand go to my dad's room when I was little because he had leather face masks in his closet, which now I find incredibly interesting, but as a little kid, it truly and undyingly frightened me. The simple concept of the movie was all I know besides the appearance of Leatherface. And I think that's why our little journey into figuring out why the movie works so well starts there. The concept of the big slashers are scary, but not in the same way as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you'll let me explain, Nightmare on Elm Street. You know that's not going to happen. It is purely fantasy. Halloween has a partially supernatural character, even if they keep it a mister. I mean, look, he survived so much crap. He is partially supernatural. To say that he's somewhat supernatural is saying he is supernatural. Michael Myers is never going to exist. Friday the 13th, as much as you love that series, I feel like everyone has to admit that's not known for its quality. Not that it ever stopped me and a bunch of other people from enjoying it, because I still really like it. It's just, come on guys, it's not as well made as the other ones. And they're all really scary. They really, really are. Those concepts, that theater of the mind where it really puts into your mind, what if it was real? Get to the stronger answer here when it comes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It goes beyond that because what it shows really is real. No, I'm not falling for the marketing gimmick. Leatherface isn't Ed Gein, no matter if other movies try to make you think so. It's all about the different elements that make the concept so damn anxiety inducing. Cannibals, they exist. Being lost out in mostly the middle of nowhere with hardly any gas, that happens and it's scary even if people that are going to kill you aren't around. That desolate, painful emptiness of the area. Only hope is strangers that look shady from the get-go. It's real. It happens. It's not even not all that uncommon as you might hope. And just the representation of what the character Leatherface looks like, the main big bad of the whole entire franchise, it just really makes you feel weak as a human being. He wears faces, which means that skin on your face, that can be peeled off. Someone can wear that. Your face on their face. Doesn't it make you so vulnerable thinking about that? How weak and feeble we really are, how easily we can be taken apart is a horror show for the mind without even watching the movie. It can set people into an existential crisis. It's terrifying. Which really gets us further into why I think this is the best horror movie in terms of the horror. The film wants you to remind you of the weakness of the human body all the time. The set decoration. Some of it is meant to represent human bones. There are hands on the arms of the chair Sally sits in in the dinner scene. There's a human face on the freaking lamp they have. And put along with all the animal bones too, this cannibal family sticks for nothing but cattle and people on their property. They call this movie the ultimate vegan movie because how it really made people just not feel good. The stuff we do to cattle, they do to human 
beings. It really sets in how horrible it all is. The way the house is set up is a constant reminder of how frail life is and how one bad interaction can take life away from us and leave us in the internal nothingness. Like I said before, it's existential and it doesn't play any of it softly. Instead, it's played like a war film. Seeing the soldiers' friends die on the beach beside them, some in more gruesome ways than others. Although I wouldn't say this movie is as well made as Saving Private Ryan, a lot of the same emotions are there. And wars are real, like how this is real. And it really plays it up. The way they film it is similar with that documentary-esque style to really set in that sort of vibe. You almost get a guilt, like if you were in a war, you almost get a guilt that if you survived and not them, then maybe it would be the best if it was you instead. It's a similar thing here, that feeling of pure, undying dread. That's what war movies do along with this little indie exploitation film. But unless you get drafted into a war, if it ever gets to that point again, you won't be in a war unless you want to be odds are. What Texas Chainsaw Massacre is telling you is that this depraved, twisted, but legitimately existing side of existence could show up right in front of you without you even realizing before it's too late. Hopelessness. Going back to what I said before too, when it comes to playing it completely real, the sound design and music really gets into that. It's hardly cinematic. It's not John Williams or Hans Zimmer behind the music. It barely even has any music. It's all about the sounds, the creepy sounds. Real life doesn't have background music. It has creaky floorboards. Sometimes you don't know where they came from. Crickets, grass moving in the wind. Well, maybe some movie on the radio, but they also do that in the movie. There's no dramatic sting before you die in her life. And there's no dramatic sting in the movie either. Everything this movie does is play into this grim, feasible reality that exists in the real world alongside us. You aren't being taken to a magical world or things of non-existent horror. It keeps us right at our home along with our potential neighbors, the terrifying thing you can't turn off like the movie itself. It plants itself directly into dark reality. Our real life. We're just lucky enough that the odds of this happening to us are so slim that it'll likely never happen. Let's play the game of odds here. There are billions of lives out there, and the ones that live lives like how most of us do will never see this happen to us. I wouldn't get that worried about it, but it's the thought that it's actually capable of happening much more realistically than pretty much any other horror movie out there. It's the fact that it can happen that makes the Texas Chainsaw Massacre so repellent yet unbelievably unique and attention-grabbing. The Town of Dread Sundown may have actually been based on a true story, but it's still a movie above all. It does try to do documentary-esque things, but nothing even close to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It just tortures you with what can actually happen. And that's what makes it the best pure horror film ever made. It's a work of art in that way. It's a film that really shows how to film, or any film, could be more than popcorn entertainment. But be like a painting where it is what it is. You can look at it, you can get your interpretation out of it, and it's visual do most of the talking, such as the film set design as said before. It's fantastic, it, it just is, in an unbelievably gross way. To say it's not incredible for accomplishing its own feat would be practically lying. It's hard to deny its impact, giving people nightmares to this very day, and it's not aged either. It just feels like a period piece basically now, since it was set in the 70s and made in the 70s. This stuff can still happen. Those people are still authentic and real, they're just from the 70s. But it's a real point in human history that wasn't even all that long ago compared to most things. Let all that sink into your head. That is truthfully what makes Texas Chainsaw Massacre work as well as it does. If you haven't already though, I severely hope that you've considered or have already liked, commented about what makes this work or not work if it doesn't work. All opinions are valid in regards to this, it's just a movie, I don't have to agree. And also, please hit the subscribe button and then whack that notification bell so you can be updated on my next videos. I'm still figuring out the channel, but this sort of feedback self really knows how to go about things. Above all, I hope you've enjoyed your stay, really taking in what I've said about the movie and enjoy the rest of your day. If I'm lucky enough, I'll see you the next day, folks. Take care.